Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. Cancer, this will be the reading for April. Sorry I'm late giving you guys reading out, but you guys know life happens. It looks a little crooked. That's that Virgo in me. I hope that's straight. Okay, so guys, this not may not resonate with everyone. And Cancer, when I was meditating on your reading... These are the cards that fell out. We will get more cards and we will clarify. But um, just know if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share because it will help the channel to grow. All right. Um, so, Cancer, let's talk about your energies right now that I have on the table. Um, we do have the Four of Swords under the bottom. You know, and the four swords in the regular deck is like healing. It could have been a heartbreak. Um, something has happened in your life that you're trying to get past, get through, or get an understanding of. Now, this is just the energies that came out when I was shuffling in you guys' energy. Let me show you the cards here so you can get an idea. So again, this may resonate. A different message may come out. So stay to the end because different messages for different cancers because we're on different journeys and parts in our life where the messages may resonate now and may resonate in the middle of the reading or at the end of the reading. But your first card that came out was the Seven of Cups. All right? The Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups can speak of an illusion. And, or the Seven of Cups is you have so much that you want in life or things that you want to complete. And I'm feeling right now there's some cancers out there just feeling like, you know, will this ever come in for me? Will this ever happen? Or they're in a situation and they're accepting less than they're deserving right now. But I do see in the middle of the read here, you have the lovers. So... You're either trying to find balance within yourself, Cancer, or you are truly trying to find someone on your level that resonates with you, that understands your give and take, um, that's not codependent, where you can share this love with someone else. You may be abundant at this time, right? Your financial situation uh, looks like it may be good at this time because I didn't see any hardship pinnacles or anything like that come up. But I think right now, Cancer, you're dealing with your heart. You're trying to heal your heart, yet you can't help but want love or someone to share love with, right? That intimate person, intimate. I'm feeling fiery, like a ace of wands, like you're really fired up, you know, about moving forward, what you want in life, understanding that whatever relationships you had in the past, it didn't work out. You're healing from them and learning the lessons and taking it forward with you. Cancer, I feel right now you have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is somebody just tired and want to move on to calmer waters. You would prefer to move on to calmer waters with a lover, someone that you can care and trust that's going to be there for you. And I feel that with the Seven of Cups, the other thing that I feel that there may be some Cancers out there with someone and the Seven of Cups can mean illusion. You're with someone, but they're not very fulfilling. And right now you're just accepting them because maybe they're there. Maybe they're helping you in some type of way. Um, and maybe it's a friend that's there with you that's uh, really communicating with you, talking with you, maybe going out with someone. Maybe even, you know, just making a bond with them. But if this is a person from the past, things have changed and you don't feel the same way. You still feel empty. You still feel incomplete. And not you personally, right? Because you got to love yourself and know what it is that you want. And you got to, you know, I know it's like about we have to complete ourselves and know who we are before we can, you know, go along and get in a relationship with someone so that what we have on the inside will shine on the outside. But I feel that there's probably some cancers, not all, are in a relationship that is not very fulfilling. And right now you're just feeling like you don't have a lot of options 
and at least this person is here and you're just holding the door open for that person to be there. But deep inside, you would like to move on to calmer waters and actually find someone, have the king of swords, that's very truthful, that can stand up for what it is you want and where you can have an equal give and take in the relationship. You could also be dealing with a king of swords that maybe they have a lot going on for them. Maybe financially, maybe they be there for you financially, but they are not showing up in love because the king of swords, that's the person that thinks of things logically. So you could be dealing with another cancer like yourself or Scorpio or Gemini. Um, we have, uh, yeah, so right now what I'm seeing is a Scorpio, a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Libra or a cancer like yourself, right? So I'm just feeling right now that you're not very fulfilled. And that is because you're still healing. You're going in, you're healing, you're trying to figure out what's the next move, what's for you in the future. But the spirit says live in the here and now, right? Forget about the past because you've healed from it. The four swords as you went in, you're finding the answers, you, you know, of your healing and you've been working on that. You've been meditating on it and perhaps someone has come back from the past and you're sharing your time and space with them, but you're not very happy. That's just for some cancer. So let me go ahead and actually get into the reading for you, cancer, and see exactly what the spirit has for you today and see the energy surrounding you for the month of April. Some things that you could be going through at this time or will be coming towards you in the month of April. I can't help but feel cancer that you're feeling, you're just feeling incomplete. You're feeling lonely and that whatever situations, it could be work. Uh, I'm feeling like there's some cancer that has goals. Maybe they want a promotion. Maybe it's taking too long. Or maybe you're not sure if you should take it. You're undecided about taking the promotion. But you're really trying to find your stability and your stable and what makes you happy. But you're having a hard time doing it. But you truly want to move forward to calmer waters. You don't want the arguing, the fussing, the competition. It's, you don't want to feel left out in the cold by anyone. You just want a mate to show up with the equal energy that you have so that you can move forward with someone. Now, true enough, cancers, I'm feeling that there's a possibility you're a single cancer and you've been waiting for a while and you feel that you've healed and you've worked on yourself and you're like, okay, divine, where is my counterpart? And divine is saying, in time, it's coming. You have to be patient. So let's just go ahead and see what the spirit has for cancer for the month of April spirit. You have a flipper, the death card. So you have the death card, Cancer. That's transformation. That's the end of a situation, a hard time, or maybe it's the end of maybe a relationship that was very burdensome to you, one that really hurt your heart, one you trusted, believed in, and maybe there was deception in it. Or this can also mean cancer that the death card is like you've been reborn. Like whatever you thought you wanted, whatever other feelings you had within you of relationships, job, family, home, that the old you is gone. This is the new you. This is the new you wanting to move forward and have someone that truly respects and loves you for who you are. And you also want to do the same with that person because of the things you've learned and you've went through. Okay? What else, Spirit? So you're going through a transformation right now. So just be calm and relax. Okay, Cancer? <clears throat> you got the Ten of Pentacles. This is happiness. So the Ten of Pentacles after the death card, that is definitely the end of the old cycle, the new one. The Ten of Pentacles is balance within yourself. That's having the one that you truly want to be with, the one that really shows up for you when it really matters, the one that shows up with respect, the one that shows up with, you know, not all relationships are going to be easy, but it's going to be much easier than the relationships you had in the past. So that's abundance. The Ten of Pentacles is the death, and you put a, a end 
to your own way always because you knew that there was something else better out there for you. And that is what your transformation is, where you felt less thin, where you felt left out in the cold. You are no longer feeling that, or you are at this time going through that process of letting all that feeling like you're not good enough, like you got to be in competition with someone, like you got to accept something for, you know, someone less than what you deserve. And the Ten of Pentacles is saying, hold on, because your happiness is coming, Cancer. You have worked on this. This didn't just come to you. Ten of Pentacles don't just come to you. That is something that you have put work in. It looks like you've become more spiritual. You've connected with the divine more. You've manifesting. All right. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. What I just tell you, no more feeling left out in the cold. The Five of Pentacles is when someone, you see it, they just feel left out in the cold. You know, maybe you have a child. Maybe you had a long-term relationship. Could have been a baby mama, baby father, whatever the situation is. Maybe even someone you thought that you was going to build this family with. And you just felt left out in the cold. They didn't give you the attention that you deserve. They didn't see your worth. Or they just basically walked away from you and left you in a situation where you just was feeling less than and left out in the cold. Well, with this Ten of Pentacles and then the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Cancer, you are working through this. And if you have not come to this energy, be patient because it's coming towards you, right? So the feeling of Five of Pentacles... Left out in the cold like someone doesn't care, like they don't see your words, or feeling that you are alone and you have no one to really turn to. Um, this is changing. Yes, then you have the Nine of Pentacles. So, the Nine of Pentacles is abundance. You got the Nine and you got the Ten, the Death, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Cancer. There is something amazing going to happen for you through the month of April. You have to make sure you pay attention to the signs, continue to meditate, and heal. If there's something in your life that you know is not fulfilling you, you will be taking action on that, especially if it constantly left, left you feeling out in the cold. Now, I'm feeling also there may be someone coming back from the past. And Cancer, you are tempted to take this person back. Only reason you were tempted to take it back, take this person back, is because you had no one else in your life and you just wanted some companionship, someone to talk to. You have this passion or whatever. But this person left you feeling out in the cold when you were with them before. And the signs are... Don't accept less than you deserve, right? Because you got the nine of pentacles. That means walking away from it and being abundant. So the spirit needs you to understand your worth. And if you understand your worth and continue to meditate and move forward one foot in front of the other cancer, you will see what it is that you need to see in life. You're going to be here. You're single, all right? So that is the issue that you know you're single. And perhaps you don't want to be single. You could have left a marriage behind, a long-term relationship, but someone is reemerging towards you. That's because of the death card. They see the change in you. They see how beautiful you are. They see how perhaps you've moved. Maybe you bought a new car. Maybe they see you really getting yourself together. You could have changed your look, your hair, your clothing, the way you talk, the way you walk. And someone sees that, and you're the Nine of Pentacles. You are standing in your power. This is a person cancer you have probably a nice home you have saved up and you know you've been abundant i'm also feeling like this nine of pentacles comes after the five of pentacles whoever you was with cancer you could have been giving more to that relationship and just giving out pentacles and you never seem to get ahead of things maybe things was always happening or you had to spend your savings or you just couldn't feel that you could save while being with this person. Perhaps they had, you know, they could have had toxic energy. They could have had addictions. They could have uh, always had their hand out, not an equal give and take. But you go from in reverse, the five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. And the 10 of pentacles could definitely be the death to a long-term relationship that left you out in the cold and you are now single and moving forward. And still you have your heart open. You still have your heart open, Cancer, because now you know what you want, even though this person hurts you. Yes, three of swords, I just said it. 
the Three of Swords. And actually, it came out in reverse. If you bag it up, it was in reverse. Okay, but I turned it up because sometimes these cards, I need to make sure that I'm reading them correctly. But this is the Three of Swords in reverse. This is either you getting over it, and if it was coming up, in the upright, you're going to be getting over this heartbreak or you have been heartbroken, but you are going to get over this and or so some cancers has already gotten over it. They released it. They understand their worth and they know that they was heartbroken, but they're like picking their self up and they're moving forward. If it is in the upright, you are moving in that direction. All right. So we got heartbreak, which is the three of ones in reverse. It could have been. Um. Not necessarily a third party, but of course, you know, three of swords mean that maybe they was having an affair with someone else. Perhaps it was family. Perhaps it was friends. Perhaps it was everything. It doesn't matter. That third sword was everything but you, Cancer. That's what that third sword is. So we don't really care what it was, right? Whether it was relationships with someone else, whether it was family, job, or whatever. Whatever they were committed to. It brought heartbreak to you because they were leaving you like the five of pentacles out in the cold. And you're not accepting that anymore. You're healing from that. What else do we have for cancer, spirit? Please show me what else we have for cancer. Cancer, we have the sun card. Didn't I just tell you? After her and pain there's always happiness the divine has you this is the sun card this is being happy this is and now i'm not gonna tell you a fantasy that you're gonna be happy in this new relationship that's coming towards you all the time because we're gonna have ups and we're gonna have downs if this is the sun card and you just loving yourself loving on yourself taking care of yourself maybe even eating right working out and just focusing on you but still you are looking for love you're looking for a companionship you don't want to do this alone now this just means that you're going to find a happiness within yourself that glows from the outside that then glows outside and that is what's going to bring in your true soulmate cancer and you're going to be happy so to go from the three of swords of healing to the sun card that's the happiest card in the deck you've got to be patient and you've got to hold on cancer sorry if you guys hear any knocking uh, doing the um, reading because I have some people working in my home downstairs. So, they, you know, they may be a little noisy. It comes in and out, all right? Back to cancer, okay? I just thought I'd tell you guys that, okay? So you don't think something crazy is going on here. But they're working in my home downstairs. All right. What else? We have the emperor. We have the emperor. Now, the emperor coming after the sun card, the emperor could definitely be a decision being made. Or this person, or you standing in your power, or this person you could have been dealing with could have been kind of narcissistic. Maybe they were set in their ways. They knew what they want. That's all they want. They wanted you to, I hate to use this word, bow down, right, as the emperor, but... This person wanted you to conform to their thoughts and their ways of what it is, what they believe is, right? Um, also, it can be an emperor coming towards you. That could mean marriage, right? Someone that sees you in your light, that actually sees you in an emperor and they are coming towards you. The reason why I just feel that that may be the case if you look at that bird, it has like a globe and then and they're fiery coming behind them. It could definitely be someone seeing you uh, in your light and they want to come towards you. Like that globe could be like you're their wish fulfillment. They actually see your worth and they actually want to spend their life with you and spend time with you and get to know you. Now, the other way this is, and cancer is just whatever resonates with you, this person was in all their glory. They felt that everything was around them. Perhaps, I'm just saying cancer, they knew how to come in and break you down. They knew what it is that you needed. They knew what you wanted, but they only gave it to you for a limited time. So you seen them as your all be all, right? Maybe they had the passion in them, but you knew deep inside once the passion was there, maybe they came in and they was um, gaslighting you, 
right? Come in, maybe spend a night, a couple of hours. And then when it's over, you looking like, what is going on? What happened? You know, like nothing never happened. Then they ghost you and you don't talk to them for a couple of days. And then they all of a sudden come back and they gaslighting you again and you spend time with them and you just kept giving it chance after chance after chance. Well, the spirit is saying you are healing from that open door that you left open for them to come in and out of your life. You are healing from that heartbreak. You are understanding that you are much stronger than you are, than you are appearing within your heart and your mind and your soul you are much stronger cancer and you do not have to accept this behavior from anyone if they're not going to be a true emperor that really worries about stability and love and can give you everything that you need you are cutting that loose because you're healing from it not that you can just walk away from it but you're healing from it so that's better than walking away when you're able to heal your heart from something or someone leaving you out in the cold not understanding or coming towards you in the way that they need to, you, you it, this is different, right? And the high priestess, you have the high priestess. That means the intuition is there. That is what I mean by pay attention to the red flags. Whoever this person is coming in to you, you are the high priestess. You have the understanding and the knowledge of what it is that you want. You can see through this person. You know they're not going to do anything but come in and gaslight you and then be gone. Going to disappear like no tomorrow. Now, the other is don't miss your blessing because it falls right under the sun card that is in the center. Can you guys see that? It falls underneath the sun card. So follow your intuition. Someone may be coming in that sees you in your life and wants happiness and love. So pay attention, you know, to your surroundings, you know, that whoever it is that may be coming around for you. Here, give me the overall for cancer. You have the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles, okay, cancer. Yes, it does mean uh, you may have to look at the harvest that you need to start. Or maybe you had to start over and rebuild um, and you had to do this alone. So that could have been part of your journey that you just didn't think that you had the ability or the courage to just jump up and move and start on your own and start building your own stability. You could also be looking back at the situation. If you are looking at a situation at hand where you're making that choice, you could be looking back at it and seeing how you put so much in, but you didn't get anything out of. And that's changing for you, Cancer. That is changing for you, Cancer. Okay, it didn't fall out, but we have the Two of Pentacles. That's a choice. So this may be you, Cancer, needing to make that choice to ensure that you do move forward. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. You got the Three of Pentacles. So someone is coming towards you. See him in the back? He's watching you. Or she's watching you. It doesn't matter, right? Because we don't do gender here. So this person is watching you, and they do see you in your glory. And it's coming in. And you know why it's coming in? You see that bird in the back? That's flying in to you. That's coming in and want to collaborate. That's why I say with the high priestess, make sure you do not miss that opportunity because you're sitting there looking at, at the past, what did not work out. When there's someone right here that can match your energy and meet you where you need to be. But you have to release the past. You can't bring the past in there with you. You also have the hierophant. Now, the Hierophant came out in reverse. You could definitely be dealing with a marriage, and a marriage that you had to release, and that is something you're looking back at, seeing how it did not work out, or a long-term relationship that someone that just, you know, you thought, you know, they know me, they know everything about me, and this and that. Well, that's the problem. They knew too much about you, but they didn't do anything about it. They didn't come towards you in the way that you're supposed to. Under the bottom of the deck, look, Cancer, you have justice. This is your justice for this person that's now coming towards you to come in and give you your happiness, right? So that you can begin a new harvest and one that will prosper and you will be abundant. You will have someone. And the reason I know that because you got the two of cups under the bottom, Cancer. So this is love. This is balance. One is balance within yourself, knowing who you are, what it is you want, leaving this past situation where it stands. And if you haven't did it yet, you're going to, when they come in to communicate that with you, you're going to feel and know that that's not the right thing. So you have to leave 
that you have to close that door so that your new door can open. And the only way this person that's going to be balanced with you and it's justice is you have to have the space for them. You cannot continue to just pal because it wouldn't be fair to the next person to foul, you know, person on top of person. If this person isn't good for you, you have to walk away. And then you have the space and the opening for this new person to come in. And you won't miss that opportunity because you have uh, the two of cups under the bottom. What else you have? You have the eight of wands. You have... The Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands, after the lovers, the Eight of Wands is basically saying, you know, you, you've been through a lot, right? And after being through a lot, you're standing there, you guard it because you're waiting for the right opportunity. And the way you're going to know it is you're going to be the Queen of Wands. You, Even though you cancer and you water and this is fire, this is you and your fiery element, knowing what you want, knowing your worth, knowing how beautiful you are, male or female, how handsome you are, and that you are moving forward and you will not be taking this because... The, the behavior from the past behavior, the old mindset of thinking less than or people making you feel less than or feeling that you're in competition. All of that is a death. That is your first card you started off. So that means there is a big transformation. You know, that's a major comma to start your reading off. And you have uh, what one you have two more, three more major arcanas, but they're all they're all major arcanas that's going to make a change. One will be releasing, one is justice, one is releasing something from the past that no longer serve you, and then you have the high priestess, your inner you, that inner knowledge, the guidance from the divine, the spirit, you know, you're grounding yourself and moving forward, and you will have the answers. You have a knight of cups, you could have two offers coming in, or this person that's coming in for you, cancer, when I tell you somebody on equal give and take, if you're a cancer, male or female, you may have a cancer, female or male coming in, so it just depends on the gender and what it is, you know, the way the energies move. It doesn't matter if it's male or female. It's just the energy. So you could have another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces coming in towards you. Um, and then you have the food card. So the food card is definitely you taking that leap of faith to have what it is that you deserve. No more playing these games, Cancer. You know who you are, and you know what your worth is. And it is time for you to show up and be the Cancer that you want to be, deep down in your heart and your soul. Guys, you know at the end of all my readings, I go through the signs to see exactly what may be showing up for you. If this reading resonated, for you or you want to claim this, I ask you to give a thumbs up because when you manifest and you put stuff out into the universe, that is how you claim it. So you give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my uploads, Cancer. So let's just get into it. We're going to switch cards here. If you are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, what is the energy surrounding you? Okay, if you are, you're not walking away. So I just told you there may be a water sign coming towards you like yourself. That means you're going to see <laughs> that that is the person for you. And you're not going to walk away from that water sign. Your intuition will be high. You will know that. And you will not feel like you have to walk away from that person as you've done in the past. If you're dealing with a fire sign, Cancer. If you're dealing with a fire sign. If you're dealing with a fire sign, the empress could be a person in the past, but this person sees you in all your glory. Or this relationship, or this person could actually, if it's a male looking for female, or male, male, or female, female, it doesn't matter. This is the empress. This is abundance. This is the person that has the fire, the water, the air, and earth right so you have everything and someone sees you as everything or you are so fired up because you had the uh you had the uh what was it you had it was 
the queen of wands. So you had the queen of wands. So this could just be you, Cancer. Standing in that fire as the queen of wands, as the empress, the beautiful person that you are with beautiful things around you, building your life up, knowing what's the beautiful things that you like and not letting anyone knock you down for your own beliefs and what you truly want out of life. Right? Maybe we've been giving in a little too much, right? Because cancers can do that. And we like to hold on sometimes. You know, and I say we because I have cancer in my chart. But, you know, I'm a cusper. And sometimes we like to hold on to situations far too long when we know they're not serving us. With that cancer for the month of April, you're not going to be doing that. Make sure you keep the signs and your heart open and your mind. And look for the signs, I mean. Sorry, spirit. But look for the signs. If you're dealing with an air sign... In the month of April, Cancer, if you're dealing with an air sign, you have the Queen of Cups. This air sign around you, it could be a mother, it could be a daughter, it could be a cousin, a best friend. This Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces love you, and they just want the best for you. Could be a passed on loved one, a mother, could be a father, an auntie, a grandmother, someone really close to you. They want you to know that they have nothing but love for you, and they're helping you on this journey. They're helping you to find what it is that truly fulfills you. And you have no worries because the divine has your back, your archangel. There's a cancer that passed on in your life or a cancer really close to you that's a friend. You guys are getting it. You're understanding it. And they are helping you through this process. If you're dealing with an earth sign cancer in the month of April, you have <clears throat> the moon. So that may mean that self-consciously, you know, the earth sign is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There could be someone there, but there are some hidden things that you're not aware of. One is maybe this person that you're leaving behind was an earth sign, and there was some secrets, some things you don't know. Self-consciously, you don't know. You didn't know them, but the Spirit is saying, no longer try to figure that out. Go within the heart and the mind and know that this situation was not for you. You don't have to search for answers anymore. The spirit has you moving in a different direction. So what you don't know and what was hidden from you, if it needed to be known, you would have known it. You don't need the answers from this earth sign in order for you to accept this new beginning. If that is the earth sign that you are leaving behind. Cancer, that is the end. Under the bottom, you have the Ace of Pentacles. That is a fresh, new balance beginning from the universe. And that's all I've been talking about is the universe coming in. They have in your back, you know, your past on loved ones, close friends, family. And people are seeing you in your light. You are the empress. You are now the empress. No longer feeling left out in the cold. And you're going to be moving forward. And for the month of April, there's a death card. So there's truly some changes going to be taken. But there are changes for the good. To remove these things from around you that no longer serve you. And so that you can stand in your power and get what it is that the vine has set for you, Cancer. I wish you all the best. Love and light on this new journey that you was on or for the month of April. I wish you all the success and uh, don't forget, give a thumbs up if any of this resonated with you and leave a comment. And Cancer, I will see you guys again in about the middle month of April to see where we at on this journey. Love and light, Cancer.